Okay, in this video, we're going to blast through four quick examples of using the summation formula for an arithmetic series. And just as a reminder, here's the formula. It's Sn, that's the sum of n terms, equals the number of terms divided by 2 times the sum of the first term plus the last term. Okay, so in this example, uh, it's it just tells you what some of these variables is. Uh, it says a1 is negative 73. Uh, it says a39 is 231. So you see, we have to assume that 39 is the last one in the series. So we're going to say uh, 231 right there. And because 231 is the last term in the series, oh, yeah, it says it right there, last term, uh, we know how many terms there are, right? How many terms are there between 1 and 39? Well, 39. So that's the sum of 39 terms equals 39 over 2. And it's calculator time because I don't want to mess up. So we do 39 over 2 times negative 73 plus 231, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's a big number. The sum of the first 39 terms equals 3,081 in this example. Does it make sense? You should always ask yourself, does it make sense? Well, the first term is negative, and the last term is very, very positive. So it makes sense that uh, this is going to be a big number. Sure, uh, those, those numbers are going to start out negative, but they're overwhelmed in the end by some positive numbers. And, and if you have enough positive numbers, they get to be very big. So that's plausible. Uh, also, this is very similar to word problems. The only difference with word problems is there's more words. Right? You just look through the words, the story problem, whatever it is, find the numbers that fit in this magic formula right there. Okay, so let's uh, use that formula again right here. And it might look at first like a different problem, um, but you see it's the same formula. They're just giving you a different part of the formula. Let's go through how we do that. So they're, told, they're telling us A1 is negative 70. Okay, great. And they're saying the summation is 2720. That's a little bit of a twist. Uh, they're not telling us what the last term in the series is, but they have told us right here, they were a little sneaky about that. See that number 32 there? That tells us there's 32 terms. So n is 32. Plus, and what is the value of the last term? Well, the last term is a32. So 32 over 2 is 16. And then I'm going to divide each side by 16, 27, 20, divided by 16. Okay, so I get 170 equals negative 70 plus the 32nd term. We add 70 to both sides, and we find that the 32nd term, the last term in the series, is 240. So in this problem, you see it was the exact same formula that we just started with some different variables known. Uh, here's another example. Let's start with our formula again. Sn equals n over 2, a1 plus an. And let's see what we know and what we want. Okay, we're told the summation, 540. Uh, that tells us how many terms there are, right? There's 27 terms, 27 over 2. Uh, a1 is what we want, okay? They want to know what a1 is. So that we just have to leave as a1. And the 27th term is 137. Okay, so you see, once again, we have an equation where we know just about everything in it. There's just one missing thing. Uh, so we're going to do 540 divided by 27 times 2, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is equal to 40, and that's A1 plus 137. So you subtract 30, 137 from each side. Oh, that's going to be math. Yep, negative 97. Negative 97 for that first term. And now this last problem is a little bit of a twist, but hardly at all. Uh, remember one of the previous videos, maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. Uh, we talked about the summation formula. And what generally went next after this part, you've seen it three times now, was a n. Well, sometimes you want a different version of the formula. And what you do is you try to remember what the formula is for a n, the explicit formula. Remember, that's a1 plus n1 times d. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that and put it right over here. Okay, And now you'll see why it's useful. Because this tells us the first term, the common difference, and the number of terms. But nowhere in here did they actually tell you what the last term in the series is. So we don't know Sn and we don't know An. So 
we're going to have to use the terms they gave us, which is a slightly different formula, but it's the same idea. You plug stuff in. So we have negative 58 plus, negative 58 plus, and minus 1, that's 20, times d, which is 10. Okay, and now we just, you know, add it all up. So that's 21 over 2. Uh, well, what is that? Negative 58. What is that? Negative 116 plus 200. Okay, reached the end of my math here tonight, so we'll just say 200 minus 116, that's 84, divided by 2 is uh, 42, that's not too bad, but 42 times 21 I do not feel like doing right now. Okay, so this thing's going to be equal to 882 once you plug through the numbers here, and that's S21. All of these problems are the same idea. We're taking a formula, and we're just plugging stuff into it based on what the problem is giving us.